I don't know how long I'm going to live. How long is left. But I'm making this so everyone will remember me. So they know what will be coming up. So they know what could happen to them. I am in the warehouse. Hiding in a corner. Alone. It's pretty light outside at the moment. But it's the middle of the day. It's gonna end up getting darker. And darker. And then I'll be fully alone with the beast. The beast that will be inside. The beast that will make me end up saying goodbye world. I survived the first night. I did it. I survived. But I don't know how long I will be staying here. How long I'll be staying here? Anywhere. But I'll be sleeping here for the whole night, for the rest of my life. I know I'll die. I'll either die of hunger, dehydration, or the beast. I hope I can at least live one more night to rethink my whole life, to take back all of the memories and everything that I loved, everything that I owned and loved, my wife, my children. I miss them all. There are a bunch of mini beasts outside. They can't hear me. They're too dumb to. But then when the big beast comes, it can kill everyone and anything in its sight. Even his minions, the mini beasts. I guess it's time for me to sleep. And hopefully I'll survive the night. Hopefully. For my wife and my kids. Hopefully. Just hopefully. So, so, hopefully. I survived night one and night two. Next is night three. I killed a few mini beasts. They're gone. <laughs> Hopefully someone will come. Someone will help me. I'm gonna get out of this sticky mess. I only got hit twice. But there's still the big beast coming. I wanna be with my family. I'll die among them, with them, even if they're gone already. I will still miss them. I'll always miss them. I miss my little daughter, my son, and my beautiful, beautiful wife. No matter what, I will never forget them, and I know that they're with me somehow, somewhere, in my heart. And I know that I'm with them. They should come. The big beast will be coming soon. I'll be wiped out. <laughs>